In this video, we will show you how to replace your right front axle assembly on this all-wheel drive Ford Fusion. This will be located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Safely raise and support the front of the vehicle, and we can start removing the wheel. To remove the wheel, you'll remove all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, and we can get this off of here. Now that we have the wheel off, we're going to continue on right in the center area here. You can see the shaft of the axle and the axle nut. We'll use a 32 millimeter to remove the axle nut. A quick inspection, set it aside. After applying penetrant in this area, we'll continue on with a hammer and punch directly in the center of the axle. Essentially what we need to do is push the axle shaft inward, separating it from the wheel bearing hub. Once you can see movement from this area, we'll continue on to our ABS wire. As for the ABS wire, we're going to have to dislodge it from three separate areas. We'll start down here where the strut connects to your front knuckle. For this, I'm just going to use a trim tool as a prying device. We'll make our way in between the plastic clip and try to separate it from the front strut. It's common for these to break, you could use some penetrant. to work it out of there. A quick inspection once you have it out of place. We'll inspect the strut as well. Follow that upward. In this area, you're going to find the ABS wire goes into a bracket. For this, just go ahead and take hold of the ABS wire in the bracket and just press that ABS wire out and through the back side or the inboard side. Inspect the ABS wire, we'll continue on. Up here, for this one, we're just going to take hold of it and we'll pull it out of place. At this point, we have plenty of slack from this ABS wire. We'll make our way on the other side of the strut now. You can see the flex hose. This is held in place to the front strut with a 10 millimeter bolt. We can remove that. Now we're going to move down towards this area of the caliper. In here, I'm going to be using a small pry bar. We want to try to get in between the caliper and the brake rotor and just gently start tugging this away, essentially prying. We want to have a little bit of movement from the caliper and then we can move just behind this area for two mounting bolts. Now for each of these bolts, we're going to be using an 18 millimeter. Once you do have that removed, we're going to be taking the caliper and swinging it up and out of the way, hanging it aside, putting no pressure on the flex hose. Just remove that, a quick inspection, start it back in, just a couple threads here. Let's get the next one out of there. Now that I have that off of there, I'm using a small hook. Just hang it off of the coil spring. Once again, we're putting no pressure on that flex hose. That's extremely important. Let's install one of our lug nuts here to hold the rotor in place. We need to remove both of our camber bolts that are holding the front steering knuckle to the front strut. For these, you wanna go ahead and remove each of the two 24 millimeter mounting nuts. We'll start them each on, just a couple threads, and then we'll start tapping on the very tip here forcing the bolt out towards the front. The bolt head is splined. Some penetrant here. And 
Make sure your ABS wire is out of the way. Now we'll tap on these. Both of those bolts are broken free. We can remove the nut and slide them out of place. Quick inspection, if it looks like it's rotted or damaged, you need to replace it. Now continuing from here, we have to carefully start pulling this down and away. At the same time, pulling the axle out and through the back side of the wheel bearing. for any pinch points here. There we are. We can remove this. Set that aside. We'll follow the axle inward now. You're going to find a bracket that's holding the center carrier bearing in place. This is held in place with two 13 millimeter headed mounting nuts. We can remove each of those and that bracket. So you can get this top one. I'm using a ratcheting wrench. Let's remove the next one. We can remove that bracket. With the bracket out of the way, we're going to use some penetrant in this area. Apply a decent amount there. Now we're going to have to carefully use a pry bar and gently start prying the axle and bearing away from the mounting bracket. This is really only going to go a little bit. Essentially, we just want to separate it. Once you can see that movement, you can continue on. Continuing from here, you'd want to try to take hold of the axle and pull it out, but typically it's not going to be able to slide out of there. You will have to gently pry it. If that's the case, you're going to have to make your way safely under the front of the vehicle. Now, from in the shield, you're going to find that you have a rectangular hole. We we'll use a pry bar straight up in this area and we're looking for the axle and the bracket. As we make our way in here, we're pressing directly up against that axle and the bracket. Gently start prying. We want to try to separate this. Let's take hold of that axle, start pulling it out of here. There it is, friend. While you have the axle out of position, the next thing we need to do is clean and inspect that oil seal. You can see it deep down inside there. When inspecting this, we want to make sure it's soft and pliable and does not have any miscellaneous debris. Once the area is clean, we'll continue on with some petroleum jelly as a lubricant. Using a wire brush, we're just going to clean the mounting bracket here. Now we can start installing the axle. We'll carefully align it with that seal. While pressing it in, we want to make sure our bearing also aligns with its bracket. Continuing from there, if you find you have a hard time pressing it in, you could lightly tap on the very end of the axle, driving it straight inward. When doing that, you need to only use a rubber mallet. We do not want to cause any damage. 
We'll apply a little more pressure here. Now while driving that in, I can hear an audible difference. Continuing from there, let's take hold of the axle. We're going to try tugging it outward. It should not slide out. If it does slide out, it's not completely seated. This is fine. Let's continue on with our mounting bracket. Let's get the bracket in place. Start with the lower stud. Continue on to each of your two mounting nuts. Start them on, snug them up. Okay, that's bottomed out. The torque for these is 18 foot pounds, but essentially just make sure it's nice and tight. There isn't very much room in here to use a torque wrench. Get the top one now. Okay, right there's bottomed out. Let's take hold of that axle one more time and give it another tug. Now on the far side of the axle, we'll install our shim. Take the axle and slide it through the back side of the wheel bearing. Now we can start bringing the knuckle up into position to the front strut. Now we'll install our two cam bolts here. Just go ahead and slide them through from the front towards the rear. Move that caliper out of the way. Go ahead and tap these into position. Now let's make our way on the rear of this so we can install our two mounting nuts. After applying some blue thread locker, we'll continue on with our two mounting nuts. For these, you can start them on, snug them up. The torque for each of these is 173 foot pounds. Time for the ABS wire. We'll start securing this. Start at the upper mounting point. Just go ahead and line it up, press it in. A quick tug along the way. Moving along to our metal bracket, you can slide that in as well. Now let's follow this down to its connection point on the strut. It's going to slide right into this port. Just press it in as far as possible. Double check confirming it's completely secured. You do not want this getting damaged while you're driving down the road. It's time for the brake caliper. When we go to put this in position, you want to ensure the brake caliper flex hose is not twisted. We'll bring this in, start in each of the two mounting bolts along the back side. We'll use some blue thread locker. The torque for each of these is 111 foot pounds. Let's make our way up to the flex hose mounting point. For this, we're going to get it in position on the front strut. We'll start in the mounting bolt and snug it up. Careful for any pinch points here. Double check, make sure it's secure and not twisted. A twist will be restriction and you're going to have a braking issue. It's time to install the axle nut. When you install this, you never want to use an impact tool. It can cause damage to your bearing. All right, 
right, that's snug. Now we're going to torque this to 148 foot-pounds. What you'll find is this will want to spin on you. We want to prevent that from happening by carefully using a pry bar diagonally down past the lug studs, down to the ground. Let's remove the lug nut. We can reinstall the wheel. Now it's time to reinstall the wheel. Once it's safely in place, start on all five of your lug nuts, snug them up, we'll get the wheel safely on the ground, and we can torque these to 100 foot-pounds. With the wheel safely back down on the ground, we'll torque each one of our lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friend, we finished our installation. At this point, you want to make sure you pump up the brake pedal, take your vehicle for a road test down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.